try to sway us to fall out four for game of the year, and we'll try to tear you down. Well, what's not to like about it? You've got those fantastically beautiful graphics. You've beautiful got to graphics. Just love you, those. <laughs> you must be incredibly blind okay. or stupid. They're just really Bethesda, thick glasses, Bethesda okay? Bethesda-esque graphics, we'll rephrase, Bethesda-esque graphics, which are lackluster, you know, end-style PS3 graphics. Grey. Hey, there's some beautiful cr- shades of grey in there, okay? The grey. Th- and grey. Th- there must be at least 50 of them. Yeah, and... There's green. Th- and there's there some blue for the sky. God forbid I forgot you got to keep in mind, some of those buildings are red. Shit. They used another colour? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Bethesda, game of the year. Yeah, oh yeah. But the gameplay is where it's at. What, that? Slow down time so I can kill an enemy? Sure, that's skill. Well, you don't use that. You actually use the shots yourself. It's, t- it's got the guns Please. straight. It's a built-in easy mode. Please. Yes, but you don't have to use it. It's not like the Batmobile. You don't have to use it. <laughs> That's true. Touche. Touche. Um, and you've got such a wide variety of crafting stuff. I know that Ooh, the double tap, you're not big don't, on your crafting. I, I enjoyed it. I got stuck that, one night. Yeah. I will say, to Fallout's credit, I was playing the game, whatever, whatever, whatever. I started talking to Jimmy D. I was building my base. Four hours later, my eyes hurt. I was still building my base. I got really addicted. Well, I've, to I've its got, credit, I will say that is I've amazing. Got a, like the, the addition to crafting is great. In Fantastic, um, it's, especially with the, you got the base stuff and the weapons and armor stuff mm. as two dif- two different parts of it and everything. Distinct parts. Yes, yeah. because that, whilst they 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 still use a similar uh, the the crafting system, it's different parts of it. What else does it have though, Shoxy? It doesn't have a story. You didn't appreciate the story? I don't appreciate anything about Bethesda. Go on, haters. <laughs> put it in the comments. I'll go at you. All right. Look. It's a broken game from a AAA developer. It's exactly what I've been saying. Bethesda has never released. Which is ever. their problem. They shouldn't get a free pass. Everyone's giving them eights and nines. No, tear them down. Make people aware that there are game-crashing bugs and they haven't even released a small patch yet. What bugs? My game crashed. Jimmy D's game crashed. One of my other mates' game crashed. That's I've had cows and shit shame. falling out of the sky. Yeah, but that, that, you know what? There are some of those things that they leave in there intentionally. Like the cows falling out of the sky. Pathetic. Because it's fucking funny. <laughs> okay, it is that funny. That is literally, no, there are a few things that they will leave in there intentionally. Like the in Skyrim. There was a few times, like the uh, when you got hit by a giant, you got skyrocketed. They left that in there purposely because it was funny. Because you're going, what the hell's going on here, yeah, Splat? exactly. People laughed at that. I had a bear in Skyrim fucking skyrocket into the air out of nowhere. Like, went... I up just, in the air, gone. I just find it's outdated. And I pissed it, myself it, off. It's end of PS3 generation. End of Xbox 360 generation. They didn't up their game as much as they wanted to. But I will say in their credit, their marketing was... It didn't mislead anyone. It showed with, the graphics, everyone went well. We expected and, that. And with the addition of a Fallout Shelter to bring the it along and everything. comparison apps, yeah. Yep, it, it helped the marketing along. Oh, and it was like, hey, we've got this new thing coming out, but we've got this on to start I do with. hate on this game a lot. But it's because at the end of the year, from one of the biggest AAA developers, for one of the biggest games of the year, to see some of those issues is really upsetting. I will say, for me, it's probably a solid 8 out of 10 game anyway. Yep. It still does a really good job. Mind you... These guys are like this is Bethesda Softworks themselves. Yes. So this is them as developer and publisher. Yes. Um, you do they have get to other make their own time games. Yeah. You have other huge games coming out that they've given their own time frames yeah. for, which will have a huge, great quality, like Doom. Yeah. Uh, when they took over id Tech, they've got a lot stuff to, like that. Got to, uh, a lot to live up to there. That's why. Yeah, but like that's what I'm saying is like. This is Bethesda Softworks, baby. Like, this is their thing. There's this Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Yeah. That's what they do. That is their things. That's what they do. Um, And then they've got their other developers, like id, that makes, um, like, Doom, Wolfenstein. Uh, What was their other one that they did? It was a post-apocalyptic one. Um, Probably no good anyway. A few years back, you mean? Yeah, it was a few years back, and it was released around about the same time as Borderlands. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, I remember the one. Oh, um, uh, Rage. Rage. That was it, yes. They've got people like other people doing games like that. Yes. Um, which, you know, have 
a certain quality to them. Mind you, Rage was broken when it first got released. But, you know, this is the things that they make, and they know that they're broken because <clears throat> it drives the modders who extend the life of these games to go and fix it. And that's, you that's, can why, have that's why they do it, though. On a perfectly polished game, you shouldn't have to rely on them to move your game along. It's a pathetic excuse. But that's what every developer does now. Not every developer. Every developer. You I can, can mod. You, you can mod The Witcher Three on PC, which was a beautiful finished game, and you can still mod it, and you can mod it in really I big, beautiful you, ways. I can guarantee you that I will find game breaking bugs on The Witcher Three. Oh, I've had a few. There are game break breaking bugs. So I'll say not that, a but they're games. not. They're not. So it's not a polished game. It's an absolutely polished game. You no, there's contradi- no contradiction. No. There is no contradiction. If it's got a game breaking there bug. There are game breaking bugs, admitted. but they are not as common as Fallout 4. Just, it's right. quite simple. No, ladies and gentlemen, you are wrong. quite simple. No, back you to are, the task you, at hand. you are no. straight out wrong. No. They were just as much. All right, can I you name you. one game breaking bug off the top of your head for The Witcher 3? Yep, have you ever seen their eyeballs pop in their face? Because no. I did. Never said, is that game oh, breaking? Yes. Yes. How? Yes, no, it was it dry, drops the immersion. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, whoa, oh, what the hell? Oh, it drops the immersion. It's oh, like no, it Fallout did. where it crashes the game. That's a game breaking bug. Yeah. Not something just appears. You have black screens of death on the PC version of The Witcher. Still, to this date, they are still there. There you go. Boom. Burned. Just as well, Witcher <sighs> was my call for game of the year. There we go. Every but it's game, still a better game than Fallout 4 game, in every, every single respect. Game this year has had a game-breaking bug. Rocket League. Guaranteed. Rocket League had the server crashes. Is that a game-breaking bug? Yes. Or is that yes. a server break? Because it's a multiplayer. No. That's not a game-breaking bug. That is a multiplayer function. Every multiplayer game will have overload on servers. Do you go on to, do you go on to Rocket League without playing multiplayer nowadays? No. But have the servers crashed bug. since then? No, because they've gotten more money. Exactly. They fixed it. Because it was an indie title, not game. a triple A title. A triple A title shouldn't do that. That's why we have betas like Star Wars Battlefront to stress test. Triple A games can afford to do that. Indie games can't. These guys could. These guys could not. They got the backing from PlayStation. Yeah, hardly any. Now they're on Xbox anyway. They had to get that funding. They didn't have the resources to test it. Their test was free month of the game. Uh, three, free month of the month. Uh, three, free game of the month. Quick question. Mm. Um, what's this got to do with Fallout? Talking mm. about game breaking bugs. He it, wanted it, to it, diss Bethesda. I thought I'd shut him down a bit. There's nothing to... to, Bring him to down anyway. There was nothing game breaking in The Witcher compared right. to Fallout. Fallout shut itself off. We, we can it was talk, a disgrace. We can talk about Witcher later. Fallout for now. I'll get my editor to find some game breaking bugs of The Witcher. Go for it. But, but with Fallout, some of the, okay, I, I will admit there are a few bugs here and there. The graphic textures, the graphic packs, but the story the is in the bugs, details. The AAA titles. Did you read through any of the terminals? Why would story? I? It was boring. But that's the thing. It's, it's a, a boring story. It's a game that has your core story as well as all these little stories behind it. And, and which Bloodborne hit... does better. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Bloodborne does it amazingly. But, but if you read through all the terminals, a lot of the terminals, ain't even in nobody areas, got time for up. that. Well, I do. I'm 140 hours in. Because you I'm ain't still got playing. no job or friends, bro. Except for the full time job and you bastards. Well, we ain't your friends. We're colleagues now. Ah, oh, shit. Where's my money, then? <laughs> it's in the mail. The <laughs> whole 15 cents of it. <laughs> the 12 cents we've earned so far. Watch the ads. <laughs> Please don't skip them. We, we, we need it. We, we, we We're literally living on the street. No, not a good street, either. It's not, you know, up, uh, it's not in a city or anything. By any no, means. this is like Broadmeadows. So keep, keep going with Fallout. What are some other things you've really enjoyed with it? What personal touches you enjoyed? What okay? What what um what keeps you going back to this game? Because I I've I personally have reached mm. to the end of it where I I have played a fair whack of it and yep. I've played more than what um Double Tap has, but way less than what you have. <laughs> yes, yes. But most people I have. You're probably I have a doubled, solid intermediate. I have I have I've dabbled in each individual part. I've played the core story. I've played a lot of the side missions. I've played some of the relationship missions, which I was. Just recently discovered it exist, yep. um, and I played, yeah, um, one side of the story. What keeps you coming back to it? 
um, more than any other game at for, this time. For the most part, it's because I'm a completionist. But I try this with most games. I tried it with Witcher. I've tried it with a lot of other games. The last game that I 100% completed... It was a fucking Lego game, you pansy. ...was Fallout 3. Lego game. I haven't 100 percent of 100 percent of a Lego game in a while. Lego Indiana Jones. Look, yeah, that was that was before. That was after Fallout Let's 3. not diss the Lego games because the Lego games are goddamn fun. Okay, right? but what about the Lego movie but, game but, that came out this year? Was that as good okay, as the okay, others? Let's, let's, let's not talk movie, about that. No movie tie-in game is good. I'm aware of that. It's None. a curse. None. No movie tie-in game. But but it's so, a Lego game. So the main thing that brings me back is, I can do my completionist thing. And still have more to do. Like, sometimes, yes, it does get a little bit repetitive. But then I'll go, hey, I'm going to go on... Uh, it also feels it like, like your world. That's something I love. Yes. Yes. I think, I and think it's that's so what keeps big as well. Yes. Back coming back to it. It's, what it's not like The Witcher. Because The Witcher, it feels like Geralt's world. Yeah. Whereas because, this feels like... Because he talks everything. Yeah, everything this feels is him like talking. like your world. Although, in saying that, this is the first time they had a voice protagonist. But it wasn't too intrusive. Mm, mm. It wasn't overly common yet. No, that, and it I think, feels like your world. It yes. really, really does. It, it's, it's got a personal touch to it, and this is why Bethesda has not used a voice protagonist right up until this point. This is the first time that they ever did it, and that was because a lot of their games were they their intention was for you to become part of that world, and you they wanted you to be that character. Yeah, so, they wanted you to be the main character. They didn't want yeah. the main character to be played by. Yeah, so you. when you're reading the voices. You're reading them as your voice. You're not reading them as the protagonist's voice. Like, say, if you're playing as a Batman, you'd read it in Batman's voice. This mm, one, you mm, were reading it in, in your, your voice. voice. So absolutely agree. It's your the, world. The voice protagonist was. It, it does break that level of immersion. Oh, the to immersion! A point. Amazing. Says your name. Codsworth says your name. At that point, I was sold. Yeah. I was in that world. That was me. Apparently, I survived this bomb. Apparently, Rebecca's not a name. Depends on how you spell it, I guess. No. Rebecca is not on that list. Yeah. My name is. The more you know. Du, 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 du. So, um, I think we've discussed Fallout at length and come to no real agreements apart from it's a, it's a fine game. It's a good game in many respects. But not Thank you. mine or your game of the year. Steve's? Yes. Maybe. If well, we can't swing. Yeah.